Hi everybody, hello Rita. Um, we, I'm grateful that Rita has invited me to come to Switzerland and check out her uh, studio, her wonderful studio, and also to have some fun. We're going to do a piece each. Um, of course, Rita's I'm sure will be much more attractive to look at, but uh, we thought we'd have a bit of fun and, and do a head-to-head. -head. I'm not an artist, I'm purely from a chemical background. Um, lots of you know me from Delican Resins. This is the real artist, so I'm sure you'll be seeing a lot of good things from her. Um, before we start, I just wanted to go through some of the products which we'll be using. So if you want to bring the camera forward and have a look here. Uh, we're using the Resi Tint range. Four colours, uh, Resi Tint, sorry, three colours Resi Tint. And the Resi Metal, which is the blue steel Resi Metal. Uh, and then we are going to mix them all with Masterclass 1 to 1, which Rita uses um, of, of, of our products. Um, so yeah, that's it really. It's going to be very informal. We're just going to do some pouring and uh, see what magic comes about. Ah, we also forgot to say we were using Resi Blast in our creations to create some really cool cell effects. Uh, so we've mixed our resin up, um, we're going to get the camera to zoom while we stir the pigment in because a lot of people ask us how quickly does the pigment mix into the resin. So if you want to come close by and have a look, this one for example is the resin metal blue steel. You see a couple of turns and you really have a very strong metallic effect. Uh, we look at the orange, the resident orange, give that a few stirs. Can you see that well? Yeah. Uh, very, very instant dispersion rate. So, see what Rita's doing there, a little peek. Pick up some tips and some secrets from her. Yes, I do secrets. <laughs> Uh, Rita uses many different uh, additives and products and substances, so yes. it's maybe something... I put a little bit uh, grey on um, purple, how uh, Violet. 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 And... Um, magenta. 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 Yeah. magenta also I put a little bit uh, grey. Is that to make it a softer yes. colour? Yes. Right. More pastel color? Yes, like a pastel color. Okay. So let me just mix my white and then... It's really warm here today in Switzerland. It's about uh, 28 degrees, 30 degrees, is that yes. right? Yes, um, yes, very hot. So with the epoxy resins, when it's really warm, you cut down your mixing time slightly and you work a little bit quicker because you can be caught in a window where it starts to gel before you've really got it out onto your surface properly. Um, I forgot to say we're using acrylic glass today. Yes. So, it's a preferred surface that Rita uses. Uh, I don't know very much about the surface, but if you have any questions, just message her directly about the material. Um, I understand it's not completely plastic, it's a combination of plastic and glass. Okay, correct? this is acrylic glass. Uh, and uh, you can uh, choose, uh, um, how to say this, uh, clay variation. Many Sorry. variations? Yes, uh, you can be dot, uh, primer or gesso or something like this, or with primer. Uh, what is the difference? Uh, Different uh, if you put a primer behind, you don't see the mo uh, motif. Uh, without, you see, and I show what happened. I'm here again. <laughs> <You're back. laughs> okay, this happened without primer behind. And that's with primer. We don't. Without primer. No, because, the back, yeah. Yes. That's why we don't do it uh, today. We'll, uh, we let uh, clap. We do it straight on without primer yes. on the surface. Okay. 
Uh, just want to show you something really cool, guys. I got the Resi Blast dispersion additive. I've mixed uh, the Resi metal pigment into this cup. So I'm just going to show you what happens if you get the camera close. When we drop the Resi Blast in, have a look what happens on the surface. You see the fizzing and popping of the color. Uh, that's basically where the cells are starting to begin in the cup. Okay. Good luck. Good luck. Let's pour. Okay, I put first time uh, clear as in wine because uh, after uh, move uh, more easy the resin with color. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go on the assumption that the surface is very glossy and smooth so that we get really good movement uh, on its own so I'm not going for a necessarily for a bottom coat and, yeah. and we do it close with tape because uh, we want to save the cell yes. if you take if you do it without uh, tape the resin will float uh, down so, okay. yeah, so we've, we've, we've protected the borders of tape so that yep. we can really fill up the resin very quickly. Otherwise, it would really drop over the edge if we use too much. So, we've protected the sides. Oops. So, if you want to come getting close on mine, you can see I've got some. Uh, quite cool cell effects going on here. Just going to blend the white with the more. The blue. Be careful not to keep the heat for too long. That's better. This effect here. It's called lacing. When you, when you break down the white, you can see there how it moves and feathers itself. Often referred to as lacing or feathering. And it's much more prominent in white pigments. I kind of move that within the metal just so we get a shimmery effect. Wow, look at Rita. I'm really happy with the orange, so I may have to add a little bit more white to it. Just to blend it in more. So let's get some more back in this corner. We're reaching a point where the resin is going to start to gel, it's going to be really difficult to maneuver. So I'm coming back with another layer of white because we have uh, some gaps and also remember we're running, we ran short of mixing uh, of usable time with the warm temperatures. So just come back and you can do this with a Mastercast, you can come back and you can supplement a second layer afterwards. I've also added some Resi Blast into this new layer of white, or this new mix of white, so that when we do feather it, which I'm going to show you now, we can hopefully integrate the cells that we already have. So we break it open and just blend it in. It's trying to lessen the effect of that orange. So I'm just going to try to blend that in there. There we go. 
How's Rita doing there? You get some footage of Rita's. Yeah. Uh, what I'm going to do now is also I'm going to, in the areas where I've added the white, I'm going to come with a little bit more resin last, drop it into those areas, and I'll show you what different effect we can get from it. So here I have with the resin last, we choose an area like that, for example. Here goes one drop. Let me see if I can create some more textured cells. Yep. And maybe along this borderline here as well. If you have a look what's happening here. It's going in there. And, uh... Just going to use a bit more heat to open up the white a more time over here. And you know, lacing you always get when you travel the white through into another colour. It's the best colour to demonstrate the lacing effect because it really gives you the borders, you know, the fine borders. To push the blue from the middle without getting too close. Right, moment of truth. Time to take the tape off. Um, I'm hoping that the resin will still move slightly, and as I take the tape off, I want it still to blend itself as it runs to the edge, uh, create a few more line effects. So, just get the camera to. Follow along. Yeah, 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 I got it. I got it. <laughs> Trying to drop tape in Rita's piece. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, and we go around the other side. So the resin is partially gelled, should still be a little bit of flow in it to give us the final, final effects we want. A look at Rita's, that looks nice, a lot of teardrops forming on yours Rita.
Well done, all right. Um, I, I, love, I love Rita's, I think she's got great, massive big cells. I like the way she's got this sort of partial covering so the colors uh, breathe to the corner and fade out. So for my money, Rita, I think yours is number one. <laughs> Nice being too modest, but um, it's been really good fun. Thank you so much for thank you so much for having me here. It's been really great fun. Um, guys, you can see a lot of Rita's work uh, on her website, um, which I have her card here. So it's basically www.atelier, which means studio in German, hyphen kiss dot ch. Uh, I'll also put it as a comment uh, to the video when I when we post it later. But I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed it. It's been a bit of fun. Uh, sort of yeah. the chemistry man versus the artist. I think the artist has come out top. But uh, you guys will be the judge. It's been great. It's been fun. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye. Care. Cheers.